so excited because today Molly and I are going to make a special family keepsake using just flour and salt and some paint and fun stuff that you guys can make to hopefully commemorate all this time that you're spending with your loved ones at home. Are you excited? Yeah, what are you gonna do with your hand when we make this? You're gonna push it into the dough, right? How hard are you gonna push it? That's really hard. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. So to do this DIY, all you're gonna need is some flour, you're gonna need two cups, a cup of salt, a mixing bowl and a mixing spoon, a baking sheet covered with foil, that's just gonna keep things nice and clean, some Mod Podge, a little foam brush to put on the Mod Podge, some paint brushes, some acrylic paint, some markers, and some measuring cups and water. You ready to go? Yeah. High five, let's do this. Yeah, okay. So to get started, we're gonna take two cups of flour. That's a lot of flour. It is, ready to take it? You gonna yeah. put it in the bowl? Uh -huh. It's very heavy, are you strong enough? Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see those muscles. Good job. So now that you have all your flour, you're gonna put in one cup of salt. And that's it. Now let me get all this salt, hold on, we need a lot of salt. And more salt. <laughs> all right. So next you're gonna take your cup of water and you're gonna start adding it to the flour and salt until you know you get like a nice dough consistency. If it starts getting a little too sticky, you can just add more flour, it's totally fine. All right, you ready, honey? All right, a little at a time, and then mix it together. Big muscles. You think it's done? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, so once you've mixed together your dough, you're gonna see it's just gonna look like a nice dough, not too sticky. Um, and you're gonna take it out of the bowl. You ready? Yeah. Can you pick that up? You think you're strong enough? Yeah. And you can roll this out if you want on your counter. I'm gonna go ahead and just roll it right out on the baking tray because this is where we're gonna bake it. I lined this with boil just for easy cleanup. So put the dough right here, honey. Good job. And I forgot to mention when I was saying materials, you're gonna need a rolling pin or <laughs> something like this, a base. So we actually don't have a rolling pin. Um, we've always just used this base and it works perfectly. So um, we're gonna go ahead and use that. Very good. I, I learned at school, they have a rolling pin. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Very good, honey. Okay, so once you roll it out, you can kind of go around on the edges and just kind of shape the dough a little bit if you want it to look more like a circle or whatever you want. It doesn't need to be perfect. This is just a fun keepsake for you and your family. All right, push in as hard as you can. Push. Oh no. Oh no. This was okay, through a little trial and error, we found that the dough um, was a little bit sticky. So when we tried to do the handprint, Molly's hand stuck. So we decided to actually add a little flour to the top of the dough to make it a little bit easier. All right, ready to put your hand in again? All right, push down, hard as you can. Yay, look it, there's your hand. Should mommy do her hand too? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do mine. Get it right here. Can you put your hand right there? Okay, good push, job, push, push down. Push down all your fingers like this. Good job, bud. All right, lift it up. Yay! <laughs> Okay, so next you wanna bake it. You wanna dry it out in the oven, essentially. So you don't want it to be too hot. It's gonna be about 200 degrees, and you're gonna have it in there for several hours until it dries out. If you need to flip it over halfway through to make sure it's completely dry and to get both sides, you can definitely do that. Okay, so you just got this guy out of the oven. It baked for honestly about three and a half hours before it was completely dried out. It was at like 225 degrees. Um, if you do it any higher than that, it will actually puff up and you just want it to dry out. But no, it's ready to paint. Right, color it in. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show this to Riley soon. Yeah. It's for Riley. It's for everybody in the world. Now that the paint on our keepsake has dried, I'm gonna go ahead and use some Mod Podge to just seal it all in, because we did use dough to make this, so you wanna make sure it's really nicely sealed um, to prevent any moisture from getting in there. Okay, you guys, I hope that you have a chance to make this with your family. It's such a nice keepsake to remember this very special, unique time <laughs> together. So um, and keep watching all of our social channels because we're going to keep doing DIYs and posting them for you guys. And we hope you love them as much as we love making them for you.